What's up everybody? This is Hemi from Mashcom Airsoft. Today we're going to go over mag repair on the KJW M9. Biggest problem with these mags is they leak after a certain amount of time. Now you got three areas of interest. You're going to have your plunger, which has two different O-rings inside of it. You're going to have your fill port, which has one O-ring inside of it. Now real quick, your other two areas of interest. Again, this mag here is leaking with that rectangle seal. Again, you got two O-rings inside the plunger here. You have one O-ring on the uh, fill port here. Now I just filled this mag, so it's probably going to leak a little bit. There we go. So regular screwdriver, just make sure it's not too skinny, not too wide. Fits no problem on the fill port. Regular thread, so lefty loosey. Back it out, slide it out. You got one O ring right there at the flange. Now, that's a basic O ring you can buy at uh, any hardware store or whatever you got near you. Uh, again, this isn't what's wrong with this mag, so I'm not going to replace it. I'm just going to inspect it. Put it in righty tighty not too tight you don't want to over squeeze that o-ring now on the plunger you can buy the tool that removes that it has two notches in there or you can make a tool as I did here simple grind on the on a on a big flathead real easy real cheap push it in lefty loosey same thing regular threads back it out Make sure not to force anything. This is all soft metal. You don't want to strip anything or waste anything. Again, this is to save the mag that you have instead of buying a new one. There we go. Now, I apologize. This has three O-rings. One, two, three. These here are a little bit harder to buy because they're kind of smaller than your average hardware store o-ring. Um, you can inspect it, you can clean it. Um, they usually don't go bad. By the time that these go bad, you're probably going to be on something bigger and better anyways. Make sure not to over tighten it. When you over tighten an o-ring, it becomes worthless. Just a little bit of snug. There you go. The biggest problem that normally happens is this back plate has a seal right inside here above these push pins. Now, it's a real easy fix and it'll save you 30 bucks or so, depending on where you buy it. The easiest way to uh, remove this to pop these two back pins here as so using a punch Just push them out one two okay now then that's going to slide out careful not to lose your spring make sure you don't have a full load of BBs in here Otherwise, you're going to make a mess, lose a spring, and then you got to buy another mag. Now, we have this piece here. This has a rectangle O-ring on here. These are not expensive, but hard to find. The easiest way to fix this is with your plumber's thread tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this O-ring with the thread tape. Real easy fix, real cheap, real simple. I usually do two full tight wraps on top of the O-ring. There it is. Real simple, real easy. Slide it back into place. If you had your mag for quite a while, blow some air in there with, with, with either a compressor or a, you know keyboard cleaner whatever you got 
careful not to bind the spring up. I do is preload the spring down and then slide that in place. You're going to take your pins, you're going to slide them in by hand until they get aligned up. You don't want to force anything. You will break the housing of your mag, then you will be buying a new mag. And that's the reason we're doing this, so you don't have to buy a new mag. Get it in place. Tap them in with whatever you got. I'm using a screwdriver just to show you that simple, regular tools will work. On the back side, you got to make sure that they're seated all the way in, otherwise it's going to leak. The easiest way to do that is to take some pressure, flatten out this back clip, and push them in. Once they're started, you can tap them in the rest of the way until you feel them move. Careful not to go too far like I just did. And there you go. You have a good mag that does not leak. There it is. Voila. There you go. Hit me for Mashcom Airsoft. More videos coming soon.